So step number two, after tell the radical truth, is be willing to give up the story about who daddy was, who daddy wasn't, how your life would have been had he been there, what you didn't have because he wasn't there, what you could have had had he been there. Just be willing to give the story. To take, and whatever your story is, whatever it has been, I want you to break it down into a simple sentence. Daddy gone. <laughs> Excuse me. Can we put a can we put a verb in no, there? No, you don't need a verb. There's no need for a verb. Hello. You don't even need to buy a vowel. <laughs> daddy go. Daddy go. Put... Or if you Dad. prefer, Daddy is gone. <laughs> Your, your, a lot of you are mothers, and I hope that for your own sons, who you are covering for, who are not handling their business with their children, yeah. I hope you recognize that you're playing a role in this right now. Yeah. That 51 years later, that woman is still hurting because somebody's mother didn't check their son okay. to go and handle his talk business. Talk the talk. Okay. okay. Talk the talk. Reverend Steve Perry. <laughs> but, but you know, really, that, that, that's true. Reverend Playing Tom. the role because of the story you tell yourself that I don't want to upset him or I don't want them to feel what I, whatever the story is. So here the real healing is, is tell the radical truth, tell about what you feel. Then I want you to tell your story. I want you to tell it in full-blown living color that you would submit to Spielberg. Then if you have five pages, I want you to break that down to one page. Then I want you to break that down to a half a page. Then I want you to get your fantasy story about daddy down to 10 words or less. Really? Daddy gone. Two, right? Daddy gone. <laughs> Put that works, right? Two words, right? That just takes all the sting out of it. I am not encouraging poor grammar. <laughs> daddy oh, is gone. Not encouraging. Okay. It's so brilliant what you've said for this reason. Uh, first of all, there are a lot of people carrying all of this hurt and pain. And it's coming out in all kinds of different places. Yes. And they don't know why, and they don't know where, and they've gone, they become comfortable with it, yep. right? And they're just living with it, and they could live with it the rest of their lives if they don't take this moment yep. to acknowledge what it is, and then this idea, because it's so big, all the things that happened, everything he didn't do, everything you hope, it's so big it could fill up a book. That's right. Forcing people to make this, make this what it is. Yeah. It's just a few sentences in your life that you don't have to live out the entire part of your life. I think that that is absolutely critical because then it makes you take responsibility That's right. for the next part of your life. Daddy gone. Daddy gone. Now what? So now I'm going to go ahead and oh, move You're saying it? I got to <laughs> So what? Now so what? what? But this now is one what? of the things, not everything that you're dealing with that's difficult in your life has anything to do with your father, positive or negative. Yes. So at some point, you got to own your peace. And, and you can only do that. See, the acknowledgement piece is critical first. Don't go to daddy gone and do step two when mm -hmm. you haven't done step one, which is clear, radical, honest, authentic acknowledgement of what you feel and what you've done to either compensate it or hide it. And then look at the story you're telling Is yourself. that what you mean by not all the, re all the uns that we feel are because of daddy? That's right. A lot of it is because you have now acted out. Acted out in acted ugly out ways. In ugly ways. <laughs> right? Okay, so next step is. Okay, so then after you tell the story, and, and you really own the pieces and parts of it and, and look at it, then clutch your pearls, ladies, clutch your pearls. Then you really have to be able to forgive yourself for the things that you told yourself about yourself as a result of your father not being there. Okay. Whatever you told yourself, forgive yourself for the things you told yourself about yourself that weren't true as a result of your, the story that you made up.